Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingy Sneve, my Jackie Quay. Your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. I was Christy at a car, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, all you beautiful divine beings right here too. How goes it with you? It's a Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Morning, Mondays. Mm, make the most of it, Mondays. I don't know what is that for you. I had the weekend up. Like two days in a row, I didn't do my daily crumb. And I tell you, it certainly makes me, it helps me to do these. So it feels really off when I don't do them because there's, it's, it's part of my morning. And then I'll watch it back. And uh, outside myself, try not to criticize myself. So, you know, that's, uh, yeah. So it was really strange not to do them, but I really, I really needed to honor myself this weekend it was a tough weekend um but the course the domestic violence screening and assessing uh course is done complete we did the role plays this weekend and that was tough i, I got through that i got through that that was great um i think i'd make a great mediator and hey i'm not the only one that thought that because the people had to make a point to to compliment me so and I had to make a point to receive that and not deflect it, okay? So, that that felt really good. So that felt good. And yesterday, yesterday, it was 29 years since I became a mother for the first time. So I, I, I now say like my children's birthdays, my birthday too, because I gave birth to them on that day. So all you mothers, when you give birth, that's your birthday too, because you gave birth on that day. Right, I don't see I'm a, those that watch know that I don't see my eldest anymore. He 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 jumped to defend the stepfather and cut me out of his life. And um, but at least he still sees his siblings from time to time. They don't see him them very much. Don't see him very much either, or their their little niece, my granddaughter. So it was tough. Um, this morning I've had tears too. So it's kind of a, a morning. Monday. So it's um, it's tough. It's it's hard for a parent to lose a child. When they choose to cut your up, cut you out of their their lives. I don't know. I can't. I'm not comparing or anything. It's it's hard. It's hard comes to our children I got a doctor's appointment today now you gotta figure out how to get out of my driveway it's been it's been plowed in well it has been plowed in like those street plow that goes by street shoveler thingy filled in the end of my driveway and it hasn't been shoveled out and then we've had rain and snow the temperature's been low and then cold again so I'm going to have to try and get out there myself once I'm try I've got a little bit done behind the back but they've been conditioned to give up so easily it kind of worries me you know when children do things that helps them build that comp a, a sense of accomplishments and build their, their confidence in their self, right? And the sense of ability that they can do things and get things done. So we rob our children of building their confidence when we don't to give them chores to do and assign them duties and make them responsible and accountable for doing things. We are doing a complete disservice to our children, catering to them, going around and doting after them and, and, and doing things that they are capable of doing for themselves. Because that's how they grow and learn and become self-sufficient in ways. That's how they learn to wipe their own butts. We can't keep wiping their butts. Like, look at a kindergarten. A requirement is that they are able to wipe their own butts because the teachers can't go in and wipe uh, 30 kids' butts, right? Whatever how many is there in their classes. They're getting real big these days, but still. Let's let our children grow. Let's let our children learn. Let's let our children play and use their imaginations. Oh, that would be wonderful. Join in. 
Don't keep that inner child young. Play with the outer child. Oh, it'd be so cool. Okay, we are 5 14 already. When you recognize and reflect on even one good thing about yourself, you're building a bridge to a place of kindness and caring. Sharon Salzberg. Write down one of your favorite traits about yourself and celebrate why you love this about yourself. Right? That's a 58, which makes, what's that? Um, 13, which makes a 4. We're balancing that out, balancing that play. Maybe we've been critical, critical, critical. So let's start looking at the things that we like. Because we can, we can, well, oh, I don't like this about myself. I don't like that about myself. I need to lose this much weight, gain that much weight, put down that much muscle, whatever that is for you. Let's stop criticizing ourselves. We've got enough critics out there. Let's be our, uh, our best encourager. I don't know. What is that for you? <laughs> what, are, what is one thing that you like about you and celebrate that? celebrate that okay you know what if it's a far reach to something that far reach far reach if it's a far reach to something that you love about yourself how about something you like or kind of tolerate maybe it's something you've been complimented on i know for me building up that confidence when i was younger and trying to build up the self-esteem people complimented me on my smile and my hair and my eyes so i even i started with those things right what is that for you and start with those and just it builds a bridge builds a bridge to start okay and start training your brain to look at what we do like. What are we for? Not what we're against. Because we're training our brain to then keep looking for that stuff. Right? And then what are we going to keep seeing? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it out by yourself. See how. Just give her a go. Never know until you give her a go. How's that going to work for you? Ho, ho, ho. Sweeten. <laughs> Hurting. Yeah, I was very sad when my children left. I was triggered after the class. There we go. Why well, don't, don't, oh, big explosion. Yeah, we're gonna put you all back in here. There's too many down here to mention them all. I see that the intent, the teachers, what the things is teaching you. What is your life teaching you about you? Hmm? What are the things that you have grown through? Hmm. And how have they strengthened you? I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Ow. Ow. Okay. Pull this back. I'm going to take this one because it's kind of sticking out there, okay? And we got to hold them on the bottom and the pairs on the top. Oh, my mouth is so this body is just so worn out. I worked it too hard. Too soon. Pushed it too much. Listen to your body. So rest and relax. Okay. Uh, release. We're giving away all that we're not. Embracing all that we are. We're releasing the critical thought. That, 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 looking critically first. Okay. <laughs> want to be discerning, right? We're unity. We're going to embrace all of that, right? Oh, I learned that at school. Somebody was saying it. They did their... um. Reiki practitioner training and stuff like that, and they learned in that you need to be able to sit in the darkness while being anchored in the light. I love that. I don't know who said it. Um, it's a Reiki thing. I don't know. Well, I know it was Jim Doc Stater, the coach, that shared it with us in class. So but we're bringing that all together. Unity and wholeness achieved, right? We're not denying any parts of ourselves. We're accepting it all and seeing the beauty in that. That, 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 that makes us unique. I don't know. What is that for you? You're there, right? That's the stamina. Because when we are ourselves, we can maintain that a whole much, a whole much longer. We can maintain that a whole much longer when we're ourselves. And that's our power. We get that empower from that. And we have that ability to respond. Because if somebody's calling us names, hey, I know that's not me. So I'm not going to get offended by that. Because those easily offended are easily controlled. So that gives us the power to respond. Because we're, we're whole. How can somebody insult us if we, if we embraced it all? Okay, we get hooked up on things if we are already sensitive and critical about that in ourselves. Hmm, I don't know. How's that for you? I don't know. Some deep thoughts to think about. Okay, here we grow. Here we grow, grow, grow. All right. So that ability to respond when you know yourself, right? You're not going to get offended by others. You know who you are. And to be yourself in a world constantly trying to make you something else, that's the greatest victory. All right. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you to be you. Fully, holy, and true. So glad you're here. So glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful, blessed day. Love you all. Mwah. Thank you.